how to create a distorted mesh in Painter. I'm using 215, but you can use 220, 221, etc. Key panels, window, and paper panels, and papers, and then layers as well. So I want to create a paper. So I go to the papers panel and right side and make paper. Go down to line for the pattern, give it a name and set the angle to 45 or whatever you want. But I'm going with 45. And again, spacing, obviously if you set a greater value, it'll be, the lines will be spaced further. Once you're happy with that, click OK. Now, what you need to do is go to the Layers menu and New Layer. And you want to fill it, so go to Edit and Fill. Fill with current colour, so set the current colour to what you want. I'm going to go with white. Click OK. Now go to Effects menu, and you've got a whole load of effects to use, but I'm going to go with Express Texture. And you can see your lines there for the current paper. And of course you can change the paper as well in the Papers panel. You can also change the grey threshold, you can increase it, decrease it, to create thicker lines, change the grain, etc. I'm just going to go with those settings. Click OK. So now you've got your paper applied to your layer. All you can do, you can duplicate that layer. So you go to the Layers menu and Duplicate, Duplicate Layer. And then Transform it. Edit and Transform. And Rotate. You could use Free Transform, but Rotate. And put that to 90. Click OK. So now the lines are the other direction. Now you've got two layers. Well, what you can do with two layers is you can combine them. Oh, you need to try, as soon as you do anything, we'll come up and uh, say transformation, commit it. What you can do, you can go to the first entry there, composite method. And I'm going to go with multiply. You could go with any of the others as well, Just create a variety of different designs, but I'm going to go with that one. Now, of course, what you could do, you could apply other effects, you could modify, distort that layer in many other ways to create different combinations of those lines. Also, select both of the layers, then go to Layers menu and drop. So now you've got your design. I like it to have both layers. It's nice to have them separate so you can apply, modify, distort the design for those lines. So you can, you can create a variety of different designs that way. So effects menu, and of course there's focus, various things, but surface control, and apply surface texture. Now you can apply it there, but you want it distorted. And I think it works best to distort it first. So you can apply it now to create this lovely three-dimensional effect there. But before you do that, if you want to distort it, go to Effects and Surface Control. And I'm going to go with Quick Warp. Image Warp never seems to create a great result. I, personally fine. So I'm just going to go with bump and angle factor. It's a pity there's no option to change the position of the origin point. So you've got increase the bump. And of course you could use the other ones as well, swirl, etc. Then set the angle factor to the value you want and click OK. And then you've got your three-dimensional bump. So it looks like if that sort of distorted bump, it's coming out of the screen. 
Then go to Effects, Surface Control, and now you can apply the surface texture. I always think it's that best way around. It's just my way of doing it. And set using to image illuminance. You can change the softness. You can see so you can create a variety of different designs just by changing the softness. You can also change the amount, picture, shine, etc. And also you can change the angle there of the light. The light control. So just change that. Maybe add two, three, four lights. Up to you. Some angles work better than others. So once you're happy with that, just click OK. And there you've got your nice distorted mesh. And of course, you can still continue to modify appearance of depth. As well as shine, reflection, etc. As well as softness. You can move the light around. Of course, you can also change the light color as well. So just click on there, maybe go for red or blue. And you can create some lovely red designs there or blue. And I say you can create multiple lights as well. Yellow. and blue. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Painter, Photoshop, Illustrator and many others. Please add some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.